Hey to you, welcome back to yet another video. My name is Deborah of Nonconformist Eyewear. Nonconformist Eyewear. I do all things um, that relate to my lifestyle in terms of how I don't conform when it comes to my lifestyle and my well being, and especially, of course, my three from locks which are my second set so in today's video I would like to talk about how to section your hair to get the perfect free form look let me take you back six seven years ago and before I go further I will endeavor to find pictures from six seven years ago and do a side-by-side -side photo with this set of locks and put it up as the thumbnail I hope to be able to do that so Going back six years ago, I had gone through a period in my life where I'd been in a real difficult, toxic situation. It was just going on. And at that point, I was finally out of it. And I was, my hair played a big role in the difficult situation as well. And I won't go into all of that. But, once I, I felt free, I said to myself, you know what? I want to do something different to my hair. I want to lock my hair. So, the first set, I uh, put my hair in two strand twist. Remember, my hair is fine. It's always been fine. Put them in, I don't even know how many two strand twists I put them in, but I put them in a lot of two strand twists. And then I think it might have been a few weeks later on, I said to myself, hang on a minute, Deborah. Do you really want to go and sit in a salon um, with a Locologist or optician or hairstylist who's going to be twisting, twisting, twisting. Just thought to myself, really, it's not something I really wanted to do. So I did some research, came across freeform lock, and then decided I was going to freeform lock my hair. Now, all those sections I had the first time disappeared. Within a few weeks, months, all of those sections that I had in terms of the two strand twist that I put my hair in all disappeared and I never got round to doing a retwist. It wasn't long after I did the first set of twists that I decided I was going to free form. So I didn't really retwist or do anything. I didn't. Um, but my point in terms of sectioning, the perfect sectioning for the perfect free form locks is again all of those sections the first time around disappeared after a few weeks. But what I what I realized this time around, looking back at pictures from the first time, is that my hair took eventually took its own developed its own natural pump. So there were sections where I didn't section them. There were sections I said. So. Anyway, as I was saying, I feel like my locks develop their own natural pump. Yeah, um, in terms of um, it's just nature doing its own thing. It parts the way it needs to part. It part. You have. You have your pathway, P-A-T-H-W-A-Y, but you also have the parting, P-A-R-T, yeah? So those two things happen naturally with freeform locks when you are not doing anything, fiddling around with it, doing all these things. Now, bring it back to these set of locks, which I didn't start off with any type of twisting, um, or two strand twist, nothing like that. These set of locks mirrored the first set of locks in terms of those parts and the pathway. You would see from the pictures, I really hope I'll be able to do a side by side for the thumbnail. You will see in the picture how there are sections of my hair which generally bunch together. So I think I had this the first. So anyway, talking about the 
section in to get that perfect section nature will provide you with which is the perfect lock for your head there's nothing wrong with having perfect locks but they're your perfect locks it's not what somebody else has your own perfect look and so the point of the video is don't stress over parting or sectioning your hair to have the perfect set of three from locks let it do its thing and you will end up with the perfect set of three from locks you want from the sectioning that your hair naturally will do i hope that makes sense anyway that pretty much is it for me for now Thank you so much for the love and the support and you taking the time to, you know, comment and like um, the few bits that I do here on my channel on YouTube. Until next time, I'll see you all soon.